Hey guys, welcome back to the cave. I'm your host, Jackbox Creations. So guys, recently in my Instagram, um, I put up a poll. I wanted to make or remake a 2010 Eagles throwback jersey. Um, it was their, it was like their anniversary that they were doing to celebrate the championship in 1960. Of the responses that I got, the one response that stood out highlighted uh, a huge moment in Eagles history. As Brandon Graham has really stepped up and become like one of my personal favorites, I decided to go with him as the as the player to recreate. So I'm just gonna do a general overview here. I'm gonna be adding the the graphics that I had already had cut. Uh, first start with the TV numbers, and then I'll add of course the chest, and then the back numbers, and then the name on the back, all using a single color white heavy tackle twill. And I'll, I'll sew around the edges. So here we have recreated the Brandon Graham 2010 Eagles anniversary throwback jersey. We did some tailoring on the shoulder. I drastically shortened the sleeves both at the bottom and at the shoulder and then I did a double stitch so um, it, it looks exactly like it would have um, if you purchased the retail. I put elastic in the base of the sleeves. The retail authentics did not come with, as you see here in the yoke, the same material. Um, it just came as a dazzle mesh. So I put the elastic inside um, of the dazzle mesh. Reebok, of course, at the time had the equipment tag. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be giving this jersey player-specific tailoring. The teams allow the players to customize their jerseys in a lot of different ways. Um, Fletcher Cox, for example, has drastically shortened his sleeves to the point where it almost looks like he's wearing a tank top. Brendan Graham has elastic on the bottom of his jersey. That's a, a player-specific tailoring just for him that he likes and it makes him feel, feel comfortable. So as he's moving around the field, you know, it doesn't rise up on him. So we're going to be adding that to the base of the jersey. So let's go ahead and get into it. So now that we have our hem tape placed down, we're gonna use our Teflon sheet and we're going to iron it down. And what this is, do, is doing is it's adhering the tape, at least one side of it, to the jersey. We use the Teflon sheet so as not to burn the material. So once the hem tape has been iron, ironed on to one side, what I did was I, I cut off the ends of the tape. I'm gonna take it off. And as you'll see, there's a strip of adhesive. So next we just need to adhere the opposite side of the tape. that 
that sticks to both sides. And just to keep it in place, we're going to use some pins. So what we did to one side, we've got to do to the other side, of course. So next we're going to take a double needle and we're going to go along the bottom on both sides. So I was contemplating on whether or not I wanted to reapply the jock tag. And I mean, I, technically it's a patch and I, I love patches and um, any retail authentic or replica or limited, whatever, um, almost always has the jock tag. But if you look at the actual jerseys that the players wear during this time, um, the jock tag is actually on the inside. So it's not even visible. So I think I'm just gonna leave it out. Um, I, I, you know, I think the, I think the look works. I mean, I'll hang on to it, of course. You know, if I change my mind down the line. But for right now, I, I think the look works. I like it. So here I've cut a piece of elastic. I basically measured around my waist uh, and tried to find what was the most comfortable. I didn't want to make it too tight, but I also wanted to give it the look that we're going for. So what we're gonna do, basically. So we're going to take our paper clip and we're going to create a custom feeder. So we're going to use this edge of the paper clip here and puncture the elastic. Right? Close it on both ends. And just for good measure, we're going to use our scotch tape to make sure that the paper clip doesn't snag as we run it through. my pliers here to just squeeze together the paper clip so that it flows smoothly through the bottom of the jersey. So we're just going to grab our jersey with the nice double hem that we created and we're going to seek out one of the openings We're going to feed the elastic through. Patience is the name of the game here. Slowly inching it through the, the base of our jersey here. It's a good thing we use that tape so nothing's getting snagged as we roll along. Look at that guys, we're already halfway through. I am really looking forward to seeing how this jersey turns out. I've always loved that look. Now, each player has their jersey customized. And this look in particular has always been something that I've seen on the game uh, issued and game, game used jerseys that I've always wanted to have like on my jersey.
right. So that wasn't too difficult. We're all the way through. Our next step, or our final step, is to sew together the two pieces. Now again, once you've gotten to this point, you want to make sure, or you wanted to have made sure, that the elastic was a good fit around your waist. The idea here is not to get it perfect. We just want to make it a solid stitch so that the elastic isn't going to come undone. Let's take a look at the final results. There you have the final product. Here it is, guys. The tailored look, the shorter shoulders, the shorter sleeves, and of course the hem, the elastic hem that can be created at the bottom of the jersey. I'm loving this look. I'm going to be flat honest with you. I'm probably going to go back to some of my other jerseys, and I'm probably going to apply this kind of like on-field type look because I'm loving this like custom tailored you know, look to it. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something that Nike or whoever picks up the NFL contract going forward, is this something that they should be applying to the retail authentics? Would you like to see the elastic on the bottom of the jersey? Or is that something that they should save for the players on field? Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Man Cave Stuff.